March is National Nutrition Month. A healthy, balanced diet full of nutrition, fruits, and veggies offers many benefits, and it can also aid the fight against heart disease. Health and wellness expert Alicia Lowe is here to talk about the importance of healthy eating. Hi, Alicia. Hi, Aubrey. So let's get started with the basics. What type of foods are needed for a balanced diet? Well, definitely our fruits and veggies and our whole grains. We definitely want to get that produce in because that's going to be the high fiber, high nutrient content foods that are going to help us to feel great and to look great and to age great. So we definitely want to get in those fruits and vegetables. Well, it looks like you have a lot of that healthy stuff there in front of you. It looks wonderful, all the different colors and variety. And we do know that eating healthy can help with losing weight. But what are some of the other benefits that it offers? Well, definitely eating healthy is going to help decrease our risk of lifestyle diseases as we age. So especially heart disease, diabetes, even things like Alzheimer's and dementia. If we can be getting more fruits and vegetables into our diet, more colors of the rainbow, I like to say, then we're getting all those different uh, micronutrients, all of those antioxidants that will help us to not only look great as we age, but our, our organs are going to age gracefully as well and hopefully not be subject to disease. And I bet it's key to start adopting some of those habits early in life, but then again, it's also never too late to start eating healthy. Why has eating healthy become even more important now more than ever as we're in the pandemic? Yes, definitely during this pandemic, you know, our lives have really changed. We've all come home. We've been a little stressed or a lot stressed, and it's been really easy for us to comfort eat or um, emotional eat. And a lot of times we're going toward things that aren't as healthy. So it's even more important now to focus on the healthy meals and snacks and things that you can eat that are going to keep your moods elevated, that are going to keep your body um, full of energy. So it is really important to look at that during these times when we're a little uncertain. Now, one common notion is that eating healthy takes a lot of work and a lot of money. Is that true? No, that's not true. With just a little bit of planning, you can definitely eat very nutritiously and it will actually save you time and money in the long run. Um, you know, just, you know, making that grocery list, knowing what you're going to prepare ahead of time um, and what you want to cook for yourself and your family. Just that little bit of planning will help you when you go to the grocery store to pick the right, uh, the right foods, the right things that you need for a healthy meal and for a healthy diet and for the snacking along the way. And also it's going to save us a lot of time and money later in life if we're eating healthy now. Hopefully we're going to ward off those diseases that uh, might take up a lot of time and money later on. Okay, so I hear you, Alicia. Plan to eat healthy. Know what you want when you go to the grocery store. But I will be the first to admit that this can be an obstacle for me too because sometimes I have good intentions. It sounds great, but then time really runs out on planning some of these healthy meals. Do you have any suggestions for quick things that people can easily make at home? Absolutely, and I always say to start small. So one of the things that you can do, we've got a couple recipes to talk about, just something as simple as um, the Italian Caprizi avocado toast. You know, just a small piece of bread. They have thin sliced bread that you can buy now, whole grain, um, some avocado, a little bit of tomato, and some, some light uh, mozzarella cheese. And then what makes it really yummy is you just put a little bit of, of uh, balsamic vinaigrette over the top of it, and you've just got a burst of flavor. You just got tons and tons of nutrients into your body and a lot of fiber that's going to help you stay satisfied over over time you can add a little basil to that if you want a little bit of a peppery kick um, but definitely this is a it could be a great breakfast this could be a great snack and it's just something that's just really simple to make and once you get into the habit of making something like this it actually isn't that hard at all um, maybe you have two or three simple healthy meals that you learn how to make or snacks and you know you just rotate them through the week so i always tell people start small we're not going to change our 
eating program overnight, but if uh -huh. we can start adding one or two servings, one or two more servings of fruits and vegetables than what we already eat, and when that becomes a habit, then maybe add some more, but we don't have to go from zero to 90 okay. you know, overnight, just kind of starting small. Well, I love my avocado toast, so I do like that idea. One thing that my kids love is smoothies, and that's kind of where I give them their little extra uh, doses of healthy stuff. What do you have as far as a smoothie? Yeah, so we have the mango avocado kickstart smoothie. It's just really easy. We got some mango chunks, some avocado, and what really gives it that sweetness is some pineapple, a little little bit of pineapple Ooh, juice. Okay. And then we kind of cream it up a little bit. The avocado makes it creamy, but we also cream it up with um, some almond milk or some oat milk or you know whatever kind of milk you want. If you want a little bit more protein, maybe you do regular cow's milk, low fat, of course, and just add a little bit of ice in and, and blend it up, and you really get a very tasty and filling smoothie. And you know, it is, March, so you know, your green smoothie for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> well, there you Day. go. Well, um, that one looks really good. Really easy. Yeah, yeah it easy looks one. really good and easy enough. Just put it all together and press blend. Thanks so much for coming on the show, Alicia. For more heart healthy advice, visit heart.org.